Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ethan and I am a content creator. I am actually going to be spending this episode taking you through some of my plants. I'm going to be cleaning them and maybe giving them a little bit of some TLC, so maybe some water. I give them water every week-ish. I'm not an expert on it, so please don't come for me in the comments if I'm mistreating the plant. More than happy to take any feedback on how to better take care of these plants. But the funny thing is that I started this video going through two plants already, realizing that I was out of focus in the frame. So I had to retake this video. So here we are. I already have watered the, this plant and I cleaned the leaves. This is my samurai plant. I've had it for about three years. It is definitely, I don't think it's called a samurai plant. I just think it uh, looks to me like a samurai plant. It's very sharp. Um, it doesn't need to be watered that much. I water it about like once every other week. It is a succulent, I think. Very sharp, there's dog hair in this plant because Archie's hair goes everywhere. I don't know what it's called, but it's just a succulent that has like wrinkly leaves. It's pretty firm. This plant is low maintenance as well too, but it gets hella dusty. So sometimes I have to like wipe it down just so it doesn't look crusty, just like how it looked like in the morning. But um, anyway, this plant is also low maintenance too. It, um, I water it probably once a week as well too. I definitely don't like drown it with water. I just spray the leaves and I put a little bit of water in the soil. The soil doesn't want it to be too moist. I've lived in Atlanta for about three years now going on four. Um, I, so these are one of the plants I got. It is kind of faded. It has a little bit more of a fade to it. And the problem is that I leave it in direct sunlight, so that's probably why it fades, it's like a faded green. But I kind of like it. It's kind of giving some kind of yellow vibes. So you're probably wondering, why am I taking you through an inventory of all my plants? And I know this is a, a day in the life because I had to get these plants cleaned up and organized, but I thought what better way to be able to showcase the plant that I've had and taken care of to show that I'm a responsible adult. But given that it is spring season, these plants need some love so they can thrive and grow and bloom. I thought what better way to integrate it with Kat's new spring collection that is, it is going to be dropping in shirts, pants, and even in the women's line as well too. So be sure to head over to Kat's clothing and then um, check out their new spring drop. Be able to order it now and should be, you should be get it right in time for when the season start to warm up. Um, the discount code is Ethan Beloy at checkout so you can get 15% off and it is also helping me as well too as a creator. So be sure to check out Cuts Clothing but moving back into my plants. Up is this big fiddle leaf. So I actually got this big fiddle leaf when it was like, here, so like right here. It's just a little fiddle leaf and it bloomed. I put it in direct sunlight so that way it's healthy and firm. But this bad boy is a little dusty, so I'm just, oh shoot, there is a spider. <gasps> what the heck? I think I killed it. Okay, I'm gonna try to wipe it down a little bit. Yeah, these pants are dusty. I don't know why. I mean, I this is what you this is what I get for not having to maintain it for over a year. So at least it's growing and thriving. So um, this is an outfit plant that I actually got from one of my neighbors. It, this is the original leaf. They propagated this leaf and then it grew into this big plant. Only issue that I have with this plant is that it gives like the, the top of the leaves gives off like the sticky like residue. So it is like annoying because it also goes onto my countertop. And so I'm like very reluctant on like what to do with this. And I Googled what it is and my friends have Googled what it is. And it's saying that you can't water it too much. But this, this little biznatch be acting like it's dying when I don't water it. And then when I water it, it starts giving off the stickiness. So all the plants are sticky right now. Um, my mom even tried to clean it and she was wondering the same thing too. But uh, it is, uh, it's a little bit of a high maintenance plant in my opinion. I would tell you it freaking grows like a bad boy, like it grows. Um, so you can see here, it's a clear glass that I have. You can see the roots are pretty much taken up. I'm gonna have to repot it because I think if I keep it in this pot, it's eventually gonna crack the glass. So I feel like this should be an outdoor plant. But the problem is that I have a balcony, but I'm not gonna leave it out there. And I don't want like bugs to kind of like plant their little worms inside of it. And then it just, you know, becomes a, 
a nest for all the bugs during the spring season, especially like mosquito season. So this pan I like propagated like four times. And this time I actually decided to leave it in this glass and let just water grow, but it keeps growing longer and longer. However, I do know that it's not sustainable because the leaves have fallen off. So I know that it can't handle this much water, but the problem I had with this plant, it just grows so fast. So I just gotta figure out if I'm just gonna kind of make bury this and let it be, let it die, or if I'm just going to let it continue in here and just continue to make it miserable. So I know it doesn't like me right now, but that's okay. Um, and then I have this plant right here. I actually like this plant a lot. The only thing I don't like about it too is when it blooms, it gets off like this like dust, like pollen. I feel like I'm being dramatic. I don't think that's the case, but I really like it a lot. It kind of like messy hair, like my hair. And then the last two plants that I have here is, this is the cactus I got from Ikea. I got it for like, I had it for about three years as well too. It started out just like little two cactus and had little, mini cactus in it. I actually, I noticed that like when it took the well, it needs, it needs more water. So it needs a lot more water than I anticipated. But what I'm gonna do with these two plants is I'm gonna repot it and put it in these two clear jars um, just to kind of match my aesthetics of my place. So um, I'm gonna do that, but not in this video. I'm definitely, it'll probably take some time for me to figure out. And because the, it's like really sharp. So I gotta delicately do this and I don't wanna embarrass myself for getting stabbed by cactus in front of the camera, so. Um, that pretty much sums all of my plants. Oh, I do have one more plant, but you've probably seen it in my Instagram stories. I've been feeding it coffee, and just an update on that, <laughs> it's not working, so I actually moved it over to direct sunlight to see if that will help. Um, it doesn't look too good right now, so I'm gonna give it probably a couple more weeks till I decide to kind of pull the plug, but uh, that's pretty much all the plants I have in this place, so. That's all I have for you today. Um, be sure to hit me up with any comments or questions on how to better take care of these plants. I'm more than happy to kind of see. I am not a plant expert. I just do the farm, which is change the soil at least once a year. Probably should be doing it more often. And then I water it consistently sometimes when, I'm, when I remember it. And then I am not trying to buy any more plants. I'm just trying to keep what I have now and just make it like match the vibes of my place. So. Um, that's all I have for you today. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.